In Learning Objective 4, we're going to talk about types of bonds that we may encounter out there on the market. And there are many government bonds, zero coupon bonds, floating rate bonds, income bonds, convertible bonds, put bonds, liquid yield option notes, and as I always joke, Barry bonds and Gary U.S. bonds. So lots of bonds out there on the market. Uh, government bonds, Uncle Sam is the largest borrower in the world. Um, uh, no default risk uh, because they can always print more money at the Treasury Department. Uh, national debt is huge at this point, and um, we have to pay it back. So if uh, other countries are borrowing or, or buying our bonds and loaning us money, we have to pay them back. Uh, currently, the uh, current national debt is somewhere on the order of $13 trillion with a T. Uh, we also, uh, other governments, uh, entities issue bonds. Uh, municipal bonds are very, very popular. Uh, why? Because they can be triple tax free if uh, purchased in the state of residence. So if you live in Pennsylvania and you buy a Philadelphia Water Company bond, uh, my wife's grandfather used to favor these bonds because they were triple tax free. They were federal tax free, state tax free, and local tax free. He loved them. They were great. And at the time he purchased them, they were paying a very attractive uh, rate of interest. So he was, uh, and his logic was well, Philadelphians love water. Uh, they will pay, or I should say water, and they will pay their water bills. And um, it was a fairly safe investment. And uh, he did very well in Philadelphia Water Company bonds. Very, very safe. Uh, another type of bonds are zero coupon bonds. You may invest in these when you're uh, when you have a new baby, for instance. You may buy a uh, $450 bond in this example. Uh, so it's a zero coupon bond. Think about it in that big formula. What happens in a zero coupon bond? Well, uh, the C in the middle of the formula is zero. There are no coupons to tear off. So it's a discount bond. You buy it at a discount price, and it matures to $1,000. So it's very very known what's going to happen to this bond. Um, and you buy it at uh, baby's birth, for instance, and you want it to mature 18 uh, years later when your child is ready to go to college, and it will be $1,000. And if you buy multiple bonds, you'll have multiple thousands of dollars readily saved for your child's education. So these are very popular in that regard. Uh, you buy it at 450 um, it matures at $1,000. Uh, C is zero. That's a great thing when you're trying to calculate the uh, rate of interest on this bond, the implicit rate of interest, the little r. And uh, so the bond value, the bond price becomes just FV over 1 plus r to the T. That C is zero in the middle, no coupons on this bond because you're buying at a discount at issue. And uh, your rate of return in this case would be somewhere along the line of 4.5%. Uh, uh, it will grow roughly 4.5% per year compounded annually over the course of the 18 years and will be worth $1,000 at the end. So test that out and make sure you can do that on your calculator. Uh, you should be paying taxes because you're making implicit interest on this each and every year. And uh, you should report this interest to the IRS, even though you won't be getting a, um, a check or you won't be getting a coupon payment or anything each year because the uh, bond quietly grows. Uh, nevertheless, you should report this on your income tax return.